Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm doing a quick video on the latest release of Prusa Slicer 2.7. So let's go ahead and get started. So when I logged in this morning, I noticed that the latest release of Prusa Slicer 2.7 has dropped. And it looks like this has some really good changes and stuff to be aware of. First thing I've noticed looking through it is you now have the ability to take an SVG file and emboss it onto one of your models. So that looks pretty cool. We're now supporting G2 and G3 G code commands, and that has to do with arc fitting. So again, something really awesome to look forward to. We're now doing binary G code, which looks like it has, it's a much smaller size G code, which again is really good as we're transferring files around and printing in general. And lastly, I'm noticing some user interface improvements. Just looking at these screenshots, if you look carefully, the two points actually in the release now. You notice all the text is more spread out. For somebody like me who has trouble seeing, that's really a good thing. There's now a new editor for custom G code commands. We now have cancel object functionality for both Marlin, RRF, and Clipper. And then lots of bug fixes and other improvements. So if you get a chance, I'd take a second to download and install Prusa Slicer 2.7 and give it a try. Hopefully you find that helpful. If there's some other cool feature here that I'm missing, please just put it in the comments and let me know and I'll try to review it. I appreciate your times today. Thanks. Have a good day. Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15 minute help session with me and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.